In this video, we'll explain the key differences between soft and hard forks in crypto chains. Then we'll dive into Caspa's upcoming Crescendo hard fork, which will boost network speed from 1 to 10 blocks per second, enhancing efficiency while ensuring security. Let's explore what this means for Caspa. Blockchain is a distributed digital ledger that records transactions across a network of computers, called nodes. Each node stores a copy of the blockchain and validates new transactions. Nodes work together to maintain consensus, ensuring the integrity of the network by verifying blocks of data added to the chain. A hard fork is a permanent split in a blockchain, or block DAC, like Caspa, where nodes running old software become incompatible with those using the new version. All participants must upgrade to stay on the same network. For example, Bitcoin's July 2010 fork caused a chain split due to adding OP underscore NOP functions. In contrast, a soft fork is a backward compatible upgrade where non-upgraded nodes still function but with limited capabilities, like Bitcoin's SegWit upgrade in 2017. In short, a hard fork results in two separate chains if not all nodes upgrade while a soft fork keeps one chain but older nodes may not fully participate in all new functionalities. Caspa is preparing for a big upgrade called the Crescendo Hard Fork, which will increase the network's speed from 1 to 10 blocks per second BPS. After successfully deploying the Rusty Caspa node software, which now mines 97% of the blocks, the team is working on this uh, significant change to make the network faster and more efficient. The process has already begun with the testnet 11, running since January 2024, where they've been optimizing performance to lower the hardware requirements for running nodes, making the system more decentralized. Over the next few months, the team will finalize these improvements, add new features like replace by fee, RBF, and fee estimation APIs, and refine transaction processing. As the testnet stabilizes, the team will focus on preparing the main network for the hard fork, this includes improving the initial block download process and other technical aspects. Though the roadmap isn't final, the team is committed to maintaining network security, stability, and giving everyone enough time to adjust. Most importantly, Caspa's team ensures that users don't need to worry. Funds and the emission schedule won't be affected by this upgrade. They have confirmed that block rewards and emission rates will remain the same, even with the increased block rate. This is not the first time that Caspa has faced a hard fork experience. Caspa's last hard fork on April 14, 2022, addressed deep side chains spamming the network, requiring all nodes to upgrade. The upgrade was mandatory, and non-compliant users were split off from the network. This fork improved Caspa's network stability by preventing spam-related side chains. We have explored the differences between soft and hard forks, focusing on Caspa's upcoming Crescendo hard fork. This upgrade will significantly boost Caspa's network speed and efficiency while maintaining security. As Caspa evolves, users should rest assured their funds and emission schedules remain unchanged during this major upgrade. I hope you found this content valuable. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and insights like this. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the latest developments in this technology and beyond. Let's keep exploring and learning together. Until the next time. Cheers.